Okay, so um, let's look if he makes that grip on the pants. Champagne just uh, I snagged that first grip, couldn't get the collar, Carl's posturing and threw in the shallow lasso, he basically get close, I'm keeping him away. This leg is live, and as he makes that grip, I find the collar foot comes back inside control. Okay. So maybe he's tucking his right elbow to this ball with a dress on Thursday if I can't get that away, and there's no triangle, we'll look at things, other things we can do. But you'll find in the battle as Carl swims inside and I swim inside and I'm pushing. Notice what happens to this elbow when I push, it just comes away that little bit. And if I add in that little tuck, I'm here. But notice the way Carl's made the grip on the pants. These are small things you need to be aware of. So the minute I do that and I try to shoot the leg over, it's just not going to happen. Yep, and that's just going to pass. So I still do this, okay, but rather than bringing this leg over, I bring this one over the shoulder and I stuff Carl's um, right hand into my left pocket and then I just shoot over from the middle. Okay, now I, my goal is to obviously to get his shoulders to that. So I'll be leg pressing, coming up, finding that far collar. Again, we've done a whole mesocycle on this, but for those who weren't there, any shoulder lock or submission, you want to put tension in the arm. So from that position, I just go to your knees, bro. If you, if, take a back a step. If I get car flat, it's going to be very easy to put that submission on. I'm just bringing my thigh underneath it. So I just pick that up, bring my thigh underneath, so I've made a wedge. And now I'm just leaning forward. Why is that easy? Tension, yeah. Notice the way if I don't wedge it, and car's really flexible. Look, 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 look at this. That's not really normal, is it? Look. And my weight's coming off me here at the back door there. You know, I'm screaming from here. Eh? You know, if you have less flexibility. So again, we want to be making tension. Just go to turtle, bro. A lot of the time, you're, you're going to get people to hear. Right, so I'm going to be leg pressing. I'm trying to find this. Notice the way I haven't got Carl's shoulder to the mat. So when we were doing this, this Bradley Hill measure cycle, we talked about how I could bring my legs back, lean on Carl like a crutch, Curl this in, notice the way his shoulder's not on the mat, and then he made that wedge. And now from there, I'm going. Look at that, his shoulder's nowhere near the mat. I didn't even have to break him down. So, let's look at that again. So that's one way into the Um There's lots of different other ways. It's just, um, so we're in a position. Playing collar and sleeve. The elbow, the is a little tapped. He makes that grip. Maybe I lifted my hips and I pull in, and I'm recognizing he's made that grip. So from there, I just push this into, into my hip, and then I just swing the leg over, and I'm looking for that far grip. Again, we could go down a whole rabbit hole from this position. Carl might decide to roll over his shoulder. And I keep that connection. So we're ready to rest all this. I can curl my foot behind, back step over. Look for mounted triangles and stuff. Don't go down that rabbit hole. Let's just look at the basic um, omoplata. Um, if he stays standing, we'll just address that as well. So another thing that can happen is you can go for the triangle. So say we're here, and um, and Kyar tucks his elbow. Perfect. Nice. It's back. He's swimming inside. I'm swimming inside. I've got that position. There's my goal. When I push his shoulder and I pull and I lift my hip, I'm going for the triangle. Let's just say I get the leg over and I'm there and Carl starts to back out. He's back and I've lost the head. There's when I'm going to the one part again. Anytime he backs out and you lose the, the connection with your, your calf over the back of his leg, Omo plot is again there. So again, sometimes if I haven't quite broken down, what I might do is, if stay on your knees, bro, I might grab the belt plant this foot on the mat and he just hip out to try and get his, his hips lower to the mat okay and then I'll leg press right, and lean forward a lot of the time it's a battle because people what they do is they lock the, 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 the triangle from here just turn this way bro and then Charles posturing and I'm stuck here and I'm trying to get him back down again so sometimes when you when you, and he's pulling his arm out so sometimes don't lock the triangle too early Leg press and bring your 
Um, pad, posture, hips. Pad, posture, and eyebrow. So as long as I keep my head in front of my hips, I'm a lot more heavier. And then from there, that detail of keep connection. I'm not getting into a battle. There's a massive, I used to have to get a shoulder to them out to finish it. So again, I just lean on them like a crutch, curl my feet behind, put tension in the arm by coming up on the ball of my foot, and then I bring my thigh underneath. And now I'm just leaning forward. See the way I'm keeping that elbow, just in case we lose it. Um, if he stays standing, we'll look at that as well. So sometimes, if you notice when we're playing collar and sleeve, Carl is in the standing position. So he tucks his elbow, I'm swimming inside, maybe he's pushing that leg, maybe let's go. I come underneath, I'm pushing, okay. I lift the hip and get my hips underneath. I start to shoot for the triangle, Carl's backing out and we end up here. Okay, I haven't got him down yet, but my free leg can come around and just make a hook and bring it down to his ankle. A lot of the, the, the problems with, with the omoplata when he's standing is, Car's posture and he's just dead lifting up and I end up here and I'm hanging on with this grip and then he can push my legs down and pass my guard so a small thing I'm playing that is when I get to here I want to be heavy so that leg I just uncross it and bring it behind here okay and then I just point this down very posture and then from there I, I can now start breaking him down leg press Staying heavy, see that I'm controlling that elbow, and then I'm sitting behind the elbow, push in, curve, curve, forward, nice and controlled, we want to be jerking into movements, just one more time on that one bro. So, um, if he's making the grip on the pass, let's do that one again. So I got one grip, I put in the shallow lasso, I, I wait for him to make that grip and then I find the collar back to the hip, back into inside control, he's tucking that elbow, he's made that grip, maybe I swim inside, kick it off and we're there again, but he's made it again, I've managed to surprise him and I'm here. So immediately I'm not thinking triangle, I just push that into the hip and chop that over. If he's still standing and he's just a brute, all I'm going to do with this free leg, I can't visually see where his um, left leg is. So much as you to a feel thing. So I'm just bringing it around and I'll hook it behind his leg. And then I'll try and bring, point my toe down. And if I can hook that, bit of posture, bro. And now from there, I just grab the belt. I like to control that elbow and I'm just hipping out. Coming forward, finding that grip. Lean in. Tension under the thigh. Notice the way I'm on the balls of the foot when we're going forward. Okay.